going on everybody? Welcome back to the Trip Up channel. You might notice we're in a bit of a peculiar location today. That's because we're in a we're in an undisclosed hot Please, rock zone. All right. I if, I, if I showed you something like that on the camera, you probably wouldn't even fucking believe me. That's like a nine million foot drop. Regardless of any of that though, today we are trying out this crazy little product right here. Oh, oh, oh upside down. I'm trying out this oh, banana runs triple infused blunt for the people over at plaid jacket plaid jacket is one of my favorite top shelf flower brands here in washington they just make some gas you know what i'm saying there's i don't know if i've ever had flour from them that was bad um but as i said this blunt is triple infused we've got plaid jacket flour rosin i'm not sure if it's rosin from their flour or outside rosin uh, ice water hash again not sure what the source of that plant is and then keef uh, which i assume is from their flour um, but the other two i'm not really sure solventless infusion come on now that little push tab button for open which i've never seen i feel like washington doesn't have as much like child proof packaging as like california does open it around sticker you know what i'm saying um yeah, let's see. I've never, never one of these before let's just try this like oh or oh i see i gotta just gotta get it below the cardboard and oh. hey there we go man oh my god this is whoo Little wood tip on there too. Okay, plaid jacket. I, I see what y'all are doing. I see what y'all are doing. This dupe tube is honestly kind of that's kind of fire. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this to be honest. Little rubber cap ski at the top. Break her off. This is that is like a really nice tube tube. Also, before we attempt to slow mo spark up anything, uh, the audio might be a little fucked up here. It's kind of like an HVAC running die. I can't really do nothing about so. You know, unfortunately, we just got a deal. I'm gonna try and edit it with some music. Hopefully, it's not even that noticeable. I can't really check right now. Um, but without further ado, Plaid Jacket Triple Infused Banana Runs Blunt. Spark it up. Yeah, this thing, it almost smells like it's distill infused just with how potent the flavor is. Like, the fact that there's ice water hash and rosin in here is almost fucking mind blowing. Like, dude, I'm just, this is just like a smoke that makes you smile, you know what I'm saying? Um, but without further, further ado, let's just uh, spark it up. I'm gonna really hope that this slow mo angle works. I've actually done some Eric Conch, I've never done one of these before, so we're gonna try it out. Cheers, everybody. to the elements right now, you know what I'm saying? No, it's just new already. That's for the flavor and the smoke itself. This shit's going crazy. I can definitely, I can definitely, I had the banana runs flour from them before, so I can definitely taste that coming through. Um, but the ice water hashes, I don't know if I've hit the keep, or not the keep the rosin yet. Um, <coughs> but whatever's in here so far is coming out crazy. Perfect. Normally I want for glass tips on my on my nicer J's, but this wood tip, bro. <coughs> yeah, this shit's putting in work. I'm definitely definitely keeping this for your Look, that's another. You're gonna spend thirty, forty dollars on a blunt like this, right? You don't just want the high quality flour. You don't just want the infusion. You know, you want the little, the little reusable packaging. I can roll another nice joint with this. It's not gonna have my Scooby snacks. It's gonna have that lovely. The draw on this is so fire. white ash equaling good bud. Until I moved out here, that's just something uh, we don't talk about back in the old Hawaiian islands. Remember we do it, I just wasn't on that soda level before I moved out here. Plus, I think we might have hit the rosin because something in here. It's tasting different. It's pretty smooth too. I haven't really been coughing this whole time. This is a solid little something, bro. I think the primary downside to this product, besides the price, is the fact that it is only, I don't know if it's one gram of flour plus the infusion or if it's one gram total. But you saw the size of it. There's no way that wasn't a gram of flour. Um, so I guess that's plus the infusion. So maybe it's a little bit over a gram. Um, I'm still paying this price. 
for technically a one gram pre-roll. I can see how that could be like a, a sour taste in some people's mouths, but. Not me, it's leaving a, it's leaving a banana key flavor in mine. All right. <coughs> well, I'm fucking faded, you guys. I can't, like we're only down to here on this joint. I can usually base an infused one grammar and you'll be pretty good, but this is. Something different. For damn sure. Wow, and it's still even smooth on the on the short puff, even now at the roach. I'm definitely impressed with the cure and the smoothness on this for sure. fucking sure. At this point you might be wondering if triple infusion is even necessary. Like when you've got raws and do you need ice water hash? Like that's another solventless based product. Um and the answer is I would say if you're dabbing it, I mean they're gonna be, be different experiences, obviously, but they're gonna be comparable in terms of material and sort of burn. Um, but when you're when you're smoking it with flour, um, rosin and other kind of goopier dabs and ice water hash and things like that, they have different burning uh, temperatures and just consistencies. So when you roll them up, you can fucking you can definitely tell that there's some different qualities to it. You can even hear the I've done anything with this. You can hear the fucking oil sizzling in here, right? So I can capture that on cam. I hope that wasn't just your rape, but you know what I'm saying? The oil is sizzling. <sighs> Overall score on what was once here, this plaid jacket banana runs blunt. Um, to be honest, it's kept me talking, it's kept me standing, it's kept me reviewing this whole time, hearing that fucking HVAC again. I hope the audio is all right. Um, I've got to give this like a solid Okay, well if it was what I paid for it, I pay or if you come to Kush 21 in Pullman and use the 30% discount on Saturdays, you too can get it for $24.50. I believe is what I paid for this. And at that score, I think I would have to give this like a like an 8.6. It was it was smooth as fuck. I'm only now getting some burn after I faced the whole thing. I'm fucking ripped. Uh, so that's a plus. And just in general, the flavor was consistent the whole time. It never really gave me a Scooby snack. A fucking a mouthful where I had to like spit super bad after. It was fucking solid, bro. That was probably the best store bought infused one I've ever had, to be honest. Um, so good shit, my jacket. One really weird thing I'm only noticing right now is like the roach, like this little wood tip shit. It kind of, it kind of smells like an actual banana, which is like the weed didn't really. T it had like a banana y sweet, fruity, but also kind of like that creamy, runcy flavor. But this. There must be like some some leftover rosin or something here, because this smells like this must be what the rosin smelled like, just like straight, it's like straight banana. Ooh, I wish I had like some banana shit to take a dab over. Unfortunately, not. God damn. It. I'm not as fucking close. That probably wouldn't be a good idea. More shit I'm noticing after. I was going to put the little the little dupe tube back in the package and like it's like a foam insert in there for that. All right, got the jacket on to go, but before we do, might as well take a rip of this. Uh, this is from Halo Cannabis. This is their Lemonella. This guy looking like kingwin.com over here, you know what I'm saying? Shout out G2A, shout out all that shit. Yeah, it's just a really, it's just a really solid lemon cart. They use like full spec CO2 something. It's a very interesting extraction process. Another crazy thing that this brand does, uh, they fucking have a curated playlist for every single strain that they sell. Not even every, just product, just every strain. They have one called the New Workout Plan. I almost got instead of this one, which is just a crazy, just a crazy strain name. The Trib Live resin is so ruined. I think I'm gonna make a video about that pretty soon, but anyway. I'm high as fuck off that blunt. Um, shout out to Plaid Jacket. Shout out to you guys for watching the video. I um, hope everyone has a great day, and um, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.